So uh, I'm going through the heavy process and the most mentally in unstable <clears throat> and mentally challenging tasks of organizing these cards. And I see that I have enough to do nine of each. Well, I went into my electric binder and with the recent pickup that I have homeboy right there, I actually do have enough. Well, I don't because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what is one more? Like we can grab one more from somewhere else. And I have here an empty card guard. So why not, right? Cool. So now we have the empty card guard right here, and we got the eight amphros. Let's go ahead and put them in the folder. Sweet. I wonder why my camera's so blurry. Okay. Okay. Next page. Awesome. And now we have nine wheezing. It's going straight to the card guard now. Galarian wheezing, Koga's wheezing, wheezing from 2005, wow, it says it right there, no it doesn't, <laughs> wheezing, e-readers, it's pretty cool wheezing, there's a holographic form of him, wheezing from fossil, Japanese wheezing, look at the artwork style. Galarian wheezing, dark wheezing, non hollow, and we have dark wheezing hollow. It's hard to tell. Oh, this one's the hollow. You can see from the sparkles. This one's non hollow, and this one's hollow. I'm going to start with the OG. And wheezing. Pretty cool, huh? one I got these seven already of those too I got the one from Pokemon Go I got already those from the trick or treats trader treat set I got the trainer art area those reverse hollow area those Japanese and <clears throat> what is it the regular area those and e-readers Ariados. I have seven Butterfreeze. So let's go ahead and pop them in here. First edition Jungle. We have Jungle. Ooh, 2004 holographic card. We have one from Evolving Skies. This is from Base Set 2. We have a Rainbow Butterfree VMAX and we have a VMAX regular Butterfree. All right, let's go.
We're just gonna patiently wait until we come across two more Butterfree and we'll finish this page right here. That's enough. Let's get to the next one. All right, so I went ahead and digged into, dug into my collection and pulled these babies out. I got seven C dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven C dot. And I only got two of these. They look identical, but they're not. One is lighter shading than this one. This one's much more darker. There's a much more darker uh, coloring around his shadow on his underbelly. And this one's much more lighter. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but you see the right side of C Dot's face. Look at the right side of C-Dot's face on this card. See how he's much more darker on his cheek? And he's much more lighter on his cheek? They're the same style of paper, but it's just this one's much more darker than this one. Probably the toner ran out, but it's two variations, and that's why I have them. So there go my C-Dot right there. Again, missing two, but that's okay. We'll eventually find the spot to fill her in. Let's go with the next page. And I already went ahead and pulled her out. Yanma. Now, I didn't sleeve this Yanma because someone, if you could see, I used to do this with my cards back in the day too. Do you see that? Look at that outline on Yanma. Someone tried to trace him, I guess like in art class or something. But, yeah, they left that print on this card. And this is my only card I have of him. And this is when I went into that box. I think it was the box. I'm not sure where we got this card from. If you guys remember, let me know in the comments. But, I don't know where this card came from. And then I have these other cards here. This Yanma. This Yanma. This Yanma. This one here. This one right here. And this one right here. So, let's go ahead and put them in. All right, again, missing two Yama, but I'll quickly fill that up. All right, next page, I pulled them out, execute. Got this one here, I think this is uh, Battle Styles, I'm not sure. Evolving Skies, this one's from Fusion Strike, I wanna say. Here's Delta Species, Fighting Type, Execute, one from Jungle, Erica's Execute, we have Erica's Execute, I think this one's, uh, they're both um, Gym Heroes, and Base Set 2, Execute. Alright, sweet, this time I actually had 8 Execute, so I'm only missing one, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll eventually come across the one that's missing. My next page is from my last uh, ones that I could find that are more than five in my uh, grass and water binder. So my next one, Gold Duck. First edition Dark Gold Duck. Sabrina's Gold Duck. Light Gold Duck, my favorite Gold Duck card. Dark Gold Duck, non-first edition. Gold Duck from Evolving Skies. Or, no, yeah, Evolving Skies. That's uh, Gold Duck from Fossil. And this is Gold Duck from, hmm, I think from X and Y. It's a 2019 card, not sure. But let's go ahead and put him in. Seven Gold Duck, only missing two. That's okay. There's some V's, some holographic gold ducks out there. We'll eventually find some two more to fill in there. So that's it. That's gold duck. And, uh, okay, we're coming along. We already filled up some couple pages. The next one. And here I am going through my normal uh, strength and psychic binder. And so far, only six hoot hoots, smeargle. With that one that I just passed, so that's four all together. So yeah, we're 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 coming along. I've actually pulled some apart. I have like seven meows and seven doduos. So we're going there. We're getting there. Went ahead and pulled these boys out. Pokemon Go. I 
I have two A palms here because if you could take a look, you can even tell from the camera right now. See that light? It's lighter than that one. I'm even holding it up to the light. This card on the left is much more darker than the card on the, on the right. So that's why I have two variations and I have a reverse hollow eight palm. Pretty cool. So let me start with homeboy who I've had since childhood. All right, and that's my seven page eight palm. There they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna hop into the next one. And on this page, I planned on doing Doduo. It's Doduo from 04, Doduo from 14, Blaine's Doduo from Gym Challenges, Doduo from Base Set 2. Then we have regular Doduo here. We have the Shadowless Doduo. You can tell. Base set and shadowless. See how shadowless they use much more thinner font, and here they bolded it a little bit. And we have base set, so base set, shadowless. I'm doing these two do duos here because I don't know if the camera does justice, but he's a lighter shading than that do duo there. This do duo in person is much more darker than this one, so that's why I'm keeping both of them, both from base set. So that leaves my seven page do duo, my seven slot do duo with two more missing, easily to get. Next one, hop into Meowth. And there you go. Also, seven slot meow with two more missing on the right. Next page, we're about to hop into uh, strength Pokemon. Toughness, rock, strength, uh, fighting. So, that page next. Going through my ground types, I pulled apart seven Sand Slash. One, two, three, four, five six and seven sand slash there and i had these in my binder up here since i don't know if you guys remember sand slash being my favorite pokemon i always kept these two in this slab in my binder forever now this will be the first time me taking out this sand slash sleeving it for the first time ever since the 90s because I've, I've had this little thing since the 90s. And yeah, we're, we're going to see what they look like. And uh, I can't wait to get them out, put them in the sleeve, and put them in the binder. It's about time. Here we go. Let's take them out carefully. I hate these things because they're so scary to take your cards out. You got Give it a little couple bangs. The vibration shake your cards out. Oh my god, it's the first time I'm taking these cards out since the 90s, man. <laughs> no, 90s. Early 2000s. Okay. Well, this one I've had since the 90s. And then this sand slash, once I got them, just came along. Alright, being very careful. These are cards I haven't touched in years. Look at that shine. EX Team Rocket Returns. That is a first release. That is a pre-release card. The condition on that card. Not that bad, bucko. Except for that little dent right there. But all in all, looks good. Okay. Get a sleeve, one of these Dragon Shield exact fit sleeves. Left corner always in because the left corners are always the most annoying ones. 
That's it. We get them in. We slide them down. Be very careful because these things are very exact fit. And he is protected. Let's go ahead and grab that first edition sand slash. And they are forever protected. Forever protected. Let me get the other sand slash in the party. Brock sand slash. Sand slash delta species. He's also a metal type, but that's probably where they got the uh ex Excalibur or whatever his name is idea from. Uh Sand Slash. Brock Sand Slash from Gym Challenges. Sand Slash from 2003. We have uh this one from who is he from? From Fusion Strike. We have another couple of first uh base set fossil set sand slash. So let's uh divvy him up. Now I know why I have these uh, different sand slash. This one is much more of a reddish brownish uh, card. Probably could be a first release of base set. And these are much more light shaded. So to put the top one up for reference. See how dark it is compared to the bottom two. So this one's definitely. We'll go ahead. Now, these two, not sure why I have these two on the side. I must love Sand Slash that much that I wanted to keep these two. But my best guess is that, no, because the gold trim is still the gold trim. Because some cards from old days um, are much more gold and some are much more yellow. That's also an indication of something, but I don't see a difference of these two. Um, I might just keep both. Now for the next page, we'll go ahead and shoot with Graveler. Brock's Graveler. Japanese Graveler from Di uh, Destiny. Graveler from Fossil. A Lolan Graveler. Which looks like a cat in the face. Another Brock's Graveler. Graveler from 2006 and this Graveler from 2014. Okay, at least we finished Sand Slash, huh? Now we got Graveler. Who's next on this page? We have another set of Diglets. Yep, Shadowless Diglett right there, Brock's Diglett, Brock's Diglett in Japanese, and we have Diglett right here from X and Y. Won't be that hard to find two Diglets in the future. All these Wiglets coming out from Scarlet and Violet. Next page, Gligar. Let's start psychics. So after going through all my psychics, I finally found Spoinks. Look at that chunky little ball piggy. Look, 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 even when he's mad, he still looks cute. And look, it's crazy. Like, LeChunk, a new piggy, is getting so much love when we already had a pig to love. And no one loved this pig when he came out. It's a funny name, Spoink. You know? Boink, boink, Spoink. But no, no one loved him. Well, the internet wasn't around when Spoink came out. Well, wasn't heavily, you know, we weren't heavily on the internet like that, blogs and stuff like that. So, let's start Spoink. Okay, 
So far, I'm only missing two spoinks. Um, I have two of the same spoinks because this card is much lighter than that one. You can actually tell from this distance how that one is much more dark shading than this one. Let's go into this page. I actually pulled them out already. I have my ball toys. So there's that ball toy there, that one there, that one there, these two here, a reverse hollow there, and these two here from way back then. Now, I have two of the same. I'm actually going to demonstrate with what I mean. And I've actually done this in a lot of collection videos. Now, you see how dull that paper is? Look at how dull. It doesn't have a shine to it. See the glare? That's the, that's the sleeve. But the glare doesn't happen on the card. This card is not sleeved. This card is just as is. This card is glossy. That glossy finish on this paper. The paper they used has a nice reflection to it, where the paper they used on these cards are dull and don't have a reflection to it. That's why I have two variations. That explains the two other ball toys, fighting types, that I have there too. So let's go ahead and put them in. And the ball toys that are dull, printed on, well, any card that is printed on dull, I want to say is a limited run, because... Uh, it's not supposed to be printed on dull paper. It's supposed to be printed on that glossy paper. So if you go through your collection and have two of each, you should definitely hold on to it. And that's Ball Toy. Cool. Okay. Let's see if I can fill up any more. As we near the end of this video, the only cards that I could really pull out from my metal binder is Maw Wow. And Maw Wow's showed up a couple times. I don't have nine of her. I know there's a couple V's. I think there's a V Max of Maw Wow. I'm not sure. But these are the Maw Wows that I have. Now, the Maw Wow that you see here is printed on regular paper. The Maw Wow here is similar, but I sleeved her. This is the one that's printed on dull paper. So that's how I'm going to start telling the difference. I'm not going to sleeve the one that's supposed to be. I'm going to sleeve the one that's not supposed to be. So these are my mile walls there. Oh, these two mile walls, one's, uh, I want to say one's lighter than the other because they're both the same. Yeah, one's darker. I think the one on the left is darker in the way I can tell. And the way I can tell, I think, if you can see that the top has more bubbles on the actual card itself. Uh, I forgot how I can tell. that. I think this one's darker because you can see an actual butterfly image right there on the card. And then this one's much lighter. This is much more darker violet and this is much more lighter. We have more over here. The regular Mawile. I have the reverse on my right. And my while from 2010. From a recent pickup. I didn't even collect cards in 2010. I didn't know they did this. And this is a pretty cool style. I didn't even know. But uh, let's slide her in. And that completes my time with you guys for today so far so good we have a lot more to go so it's not the last time you're gonna see this card guard here thank you for supporting me thank you for giving me shout outs thank you for commenting and liking my videos this will only get bigger from here and i actually have a surprise for the next video Ta -da! see those but that's all you guys are gonna get Right before I go, let me not forget these. I actually forgot that I had a dark muck in a separate page. He's not a holler or anything, but it's still from very old back in the day. And then I have these. I have the original dark muck from Team Rocket from the 90s. I have dark muck in Japanese. I have muck from Legendary Collection. No, that's Fossil. Holographic from Fossil. And that's Muck from Legendary Collection. Pretty cool, huh? With the ghostly eyes. I have regular Muck from Fossil. No hollow. And I have dark type Muck. 
He is from... I have no idea what this card's from. Let me put him in now. And there it is. Just two more mugs to go. And wait just a second. I actually pulled up more cards. Who's this familiar face here? Look at that. Tyranitar EX. I have this Tyranitar. But I also want to show you something. Dark Tyranitar. From Team Rockets. I have the two Tyranitars that we pulled. From the Pokemon Go set. Hollow and Reverse Hollow. What an epic night. And look. That Godzilla right there, man. Like, they take after so many designs from Godzilla. It's so crazy. And to grind your Pupitar to get a Tyranitar. Now, I have these two Tyranitars. See the similarities? This one came out during the Johto era. This one came out in 2018. Definite reprints, huh? It's crazy, right? So this one came out in uh, early 2000s, I want to say 2001, it should say right there, 2001 Nintendo, and this one came out in 2018, it says it right there, 2018 Pokemon, same artwork, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Tyranitar, nah, uh huh, and we have a Tyranitar V, both hollow. Now, this Tyranitar is crazy because you need five Dark Energies to use Dark Mountain. Never seen something like that. And I have Machops. I have Giovanni's Machop. I have a Machop Level 20 from 2007. I have a Japanese Rockets Machop. I have a Japanese Machop from Base Set. I have X and Y Machop Reprint. I have Base Set 2 Machop. I have Shadowless Machop. And I have a base set Machop printed right after Shadowless. And that's going right in there. And with the flick of my fingers, we have it all ready to go. Tyranitars and Machop. Both missing one, but I can easily replace those. They look great, don't they? Now, next page. And I had found these. I have a base set Raticate and another base set Raticate. I don't know if you guys can tell, but one gold trim, the left one, is darker than the right trim. That's gold gold. This is yellow trim. And that's why I kept both variations. Here's base set 2 Raticate. Here's Lieutenant Surge's Raticate. Lieutenant Surge's Raticate. That's from Challenges. This is from Heroes. I have a Lolan Raticate from Pokemon Go. And I have Dark Raticate from Team Rocket. Now, and voila. That's all my Raticates right there. I just need two more to go, and that's fine because I have hardly collected any from the Alolan era. So I have a lot of Alolan Raticates to collect. But I think that's it. <laughs> now I can finally say goodbye to you guys. We have a long way to go. Stay tuned for part two when we finally fill up our third card guard.